today I'm opening up a $500 Toy SA Funko Pop mystery box. I love these more expensive mystery boxes. You love watching them. But before we do it though, you know what we've got to do. This video was brought to you by the WhatNot app. Download the free WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions from your smart device. You can buy Funko Pops auction style, Silver Age and Golden Age comics. There's Pokemon cards, pack breaks, and box breaks. You can have sports cards ripped for you live that you purchase. Download the WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions on the WhatNot app. We've got appetizer boxes. So we have here our two Chrono Toys at $20 mystery boxes. Each one has one Funko Pop. So it's possible to get something halfway decent out of here. If they're pretty much guaranteed value. They don't say guaranteed value, but you usually at least get your money back in these Chrono Toys boxes. So that's, that's a positive. We're gonna do both of these just as the appetizer to warm up the video up. Cause I can't just go straight into a $500 mystery box. You can't just jump into that. You've got to warm up the video first. So if I lose money, I'm going to lose it on these. And I don't want to lose it on that one, obviously. Here we go. First one, 20 bucks. Appetizer. Cheaper mystery box. There are some higher price point pops available, but they're very hard to get out of these boxes. It's been a long time since I've gotten out like a grail from one of these boxes. It's been a long time. First one, it says Spider-Man. We've got Black Cat Spider-Man. Okay, this came out in 2021, it says. That is a much newer pop. And this is the overseas sticker. I don't know what store in the US this was an, ex an exclusive to. I have literally no idea. But I'm gonna look at the PPG value of this pop, kind of see what's coming in at. And on PPG, it's coming in, ooh, $21, so. I basically broke even on this. It is in no pop protector, but don't worry. Before I sell this, I will put this into a 7 bucks pop, pop shield pop protector. My preferred pop protector. Whenever I sell my Funko Pops. Make sure you check them out. There'll be a drug link down below to 7BucksPop.com. Here we go. Warm-up box. Appetizer number two. First one, not, not bad. Not earth shattering or anything, but I got my money back. That's all we can ask for, right? Please break even. Of course, this one... I want to hit big, obviously. These cheaper ones, let's just get the money back at least. And we have a Disney pop from Emperor's New Groove. Oh, this thing is damaged. That thing is pretty, pretty bad damage the back of that pop. Man, that, oof. Okay, we have NYCC 2021 shared sticker for the box, the back of that box. I'm not sure you can see it on camera, but it is all creased up on the back. It's, it's actually, it's, it's kind of bad. Big crease here, an indention, and a big crease here, creases along here, and that that one's that one's kind of damaged. That should not have gone into this box. Personal opinion, this wasn't a damaged mystery box. But anyway, the PPG value of Zima, this one's coming in at twenty bucks, but with the damage, probably like fifteen. So actually, I lost money on this one. With the damage, yeah, I lost money. And that should not have gone to this box because it wasn't supposed to be a damaged mystery box. And the actual shipping box, oh, the shipping box did take a little bit of damage. Right? That's where it happened. The shipping box. Got damage on the shipping box. The little puncture mark is right there, and then the damage is right there. So since this wasn't in a Sendbox Pop Pop Shield Pop Protector, <laughs> it got damaged during shipping. So actually, it wasn't mailed to me damaged, but it did get damaged during shipping. So actually, it's not Colonel Toy's fault, technically, but they could have put it into a pop protector, but they never do. Um, they hardly ever get damaged, though. That's that's a rarity. That doesn't happen very often. $500 mystery box. So this one is called the October Edition $500 High Roller Mystery Box. This shipped back October 21st. I've had this thing for a few months now. We actually have like four of them. So we're going to have some fun here in the next few weeks. It said this is limited to 25 total boxes. Each mystery box contains four Funko Pops. And it, it actually, they show all 25 possible combinations. Some of the top hits are like the uh, the Bloody Billy SDCC exclusive. We got some Freddy Funkos. Uh, 
the Superman, like the Black Suit Superman SDCC. We've got the Glow in the Dark Skeletor Gemini Exclusive. I mean, you, you, you've got some pops there probably pushing a thousand dollars. You've got a few. It says the 25 mystery box contain a hundred total Funko Pops. All boxes may not be considered everyone is mint. Some could be seven out of 10 condition. Older pops obviously can have a little bit of damage on them. And this also is not a guaranteed value mystery box, which means you can lose money. So if this was 500 bucks, if it's if it's not a guaranteed value box, you, you can probably lose maybe as much like 200 bucks in this box. I'm gonna guesstimate probably the bottom box is probably gonna be about $300, maybe 350. Because in order for some people to get a thousand dollar pop out, some people have to lose. That's just the mystery box game. So I can lose money on this box. It could happen. You ready? First one. Let's open this one up. Yeah, I think I have a total like four of these down there. So that should be fun here. In the next coming few weeks, I'll open them up slowly on this channel. 500 bucks. So with these mystery boxes, please understand this is a gamble. This is a risk. You're not guaranteed your money back. You can lose a couple hundred bucks. You can lose some money. And it is double boxed. They usually double box. They're more expensive mystery boxes. For extra protection. And of course, you've got the famous Toya Say packing peanuts on the bottom of the box. Here we go. Still all factory sealed up. Brand new box. All factory. Here we go. Hopefully I reach in and I feel a heart. Let me do kind of the weight test. Does it feel heavier? Usually if there's a stack in there, one corner will feel heavier. I don't feel like a heavier corner in this box. There might not be a pop stack in here. There might not be a pop armor in here. Let's find out. Hopefully, hopefully there is. So if I reach in and there's no hard stack or no pop armor, then that's when I'm just praying to at least break even or not lose a whole lot of money. Here we go. Four pops for $500. High roller box. Tear back the bubble wrap. Reach in. No hard stacks. This might be an uphill battle. All four are in pop protectors. I think these three are in pretty flimsy 0.35 protectors. This one feels like it's in a little bit more of a sturdy protector. That one's probably gonna be like the bigger hit in the box. This one feels like a chalice protector, like a 0 0.50. Here we go. Wish me luck. First one. The back says the fifth element. We've got Jean Baptiste Emmanuel Zorg. I've never seen the fifth element. No idea what that's from. Or I have no idea who that character is in that movie, I mean. It is a 2015, so I'm sure it's long vaulted. Hopefully it's worth some pretty decent money. I have no idea. I have no idea what the pup's worth. No idea. There you go, pop number two. The back also says the fifth element. Do I, do I feel a, a vibe in this box for fifth element? We've got Ruby Rod from the fifth element. That's also 2015. I'm guessing these are probably vaulted. I would guess so. Are they crazy value? I have no idea what the value of those two pops are. I'm getting kind of scared here. I don't want to lose any money. Go pop number three. The back says the fifth element, Lilu. Everything looks to be in pretty good condition through the pop protectors. This is also a 2015 pop. So I do see a pretty strong vibe going on here. Fifth element, fifth element, fifth element. I have no idea what these are worth. Zero idea. You know what, just for fun, I, I, I don't wanna see that pop by accident. We're gonna look up PPG value. Before I get the last pop, no cuts, no editing. Just bear with me here. There might be some dead spots when I'm not talking. This first one, it's whoa, it's worth $65, really? Okay, looks like it is vaulted. Pop number two, Ruby. She's worth $80, okay. Right, there's 145, pop number three. Jean-Baptiste Emmanuel Zorg, he's worth 60. So these three pops are worth 205. I'm guessing the last pop has to be worth at least 100 bucks. It has to be. Fingers crossed it is. 
Here we go. Last pop. I just, I feel this fifth element vibe will probably keep going to this fourth pop. And it did. The fifth element, Diva Plava Laguna. How much money did I lose in this box? I think I lost quite a bit of money. Okay, I'm scared now. Let's see PPG value this last pop. Please be high value. Diva Plava Laguna. And PPG is going slow. It's worth $110. Okay. I pretty much lost 200 bucks in this box. Ouch. That's the risk of mystery boxes. That's a high roller mystery box. So all four of these will be available in a future what not live auction. If you want to buy these, they will be available to be picked up. They all look to be in pretty good condition. But yeah, this is a bummer mystery box. 500 bucks. And I got back PBG at 315. Throw in shipping costs. I lost $200 on this box. This is probably one of the worst boxes out of the 25, too. So think positive. The other three boxes can only be better than this one. They have to be. So stay tuned, and I'll do another $500 October edition mystery box here in maybe a week or so. See you then. This video was brought to you by the WhatNot app. Download the free WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions from your smart device. You can buy Funko Pops auction style, Silver Rage and Golden Age comics. There's Pokemon cards, pack breaks, and box breaks. You can have sports cards ripped for you live that you purchase. Download the WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions on the WhatNot app.